not quite where I want to be. So every little bit of time out on court, I'm trying to make the most of it and improve on what I've been doing. And finally, how good is it to have baby Tia here watching you in the stands? <laughs> I love it. I love having her around and I, yeah, I'm really thankful that they could come over. Cool. Thank you so much, guys. Hi, Hi. Uh, yeah, it did seem as though Singapore enacted their game plan and were tenacious all the time. Mm. And you guys seem to be maybe casual or lacking in energy or you, you said with ball in hand. Um, what's your thoughts on coaching against Janet and what she's brought to Singapore and their, their tenacity? Yeah, I actually spoke to her just down downstairs. We watched the Uganda against Singapore on the first round and I actually noticed the shifts that Singapore had made. Um, I think they're stronger on the ball, so body-wise, um, physicality, I think they're able to compete. And as um, Annette said to me, you know, they've got to be fast, otherwise anything lifted is going to get chewed up. So I can see the work that she's done, um, which has only been over the last two years, so I can only commend that. I think it's awesome that they've been able to compete. Uh, Jane, I noticed I could hear you yelling all the time, and I could actually specifically hear what you were saying to people. When you're in a big game, you, people won't be able to hear you. So um, is, are you going to be able to use your voice as much when you're playing Australia or England? I think part of my voice is for myself as well. It gets me up and sort of helps my focus. Um, but also any little bit that I can add to the team. And they may be able to hear me, they may not. But yeah, that's just part of my gameplay as well. Thanks. Um, Noles, it looked like after, in that third quarter, when Grace went off, she'd sort of like 12 and 7 minutes. But after she went off, the attack sort of started to lack a little bit of fluidity. Why do you think that sort of broke down a little bit? Yeah, I think, you know, that's what we're working towards is having different combinations that we can rely on and, and those combinations who can do the job. Uh, probably a, maybe a bit of a mindset, we were prepared to go in there, so it just took them a wee bit of time to be able to get in. But also, once again, the areas that we're trying to prove on is that we're more fluid. So still a bit of work to do in regards to combinations when changes do occur. You mentioned before that you thought that some sort of things mindset was a little bit off in this game, weren't quite as clinical. Did the team take the foot off the accelerator heading into this game, do you think, mentally? Um, I'm unsure what the reason is, and that's probably something I know that the players will pull out of themselves. I don't feel that anybody, I thought defensively we got some good ball, but are probably feeling the vibe down there. I think uh, they're very clear about where they are and probably the work they need to do. So we'll go back, we'll have a look at ourselves um, and I'll be interested to hear what everybody else thinks about that game. Uh, what did you make of Maddie Gordon? Obviously she had a full game shift into wing attack for the final quarter. I think she only had one quarter yesterday. Yes. How did you, what did you make of her performance? Yeah, really good. Um, she, she's an energy buddy, bunny for us. So with her just once again coming in and consolidating herself, getting a full game, or well, uh, that experience that she has under her belt and also ability to move from centre wing attack it's good to be able to see at this level. So really pleased um, and I know that she'll uh, we'll both be able to see where the gaps are and what you can do for the next stage. And apart from Maddie and, and Jane's performance, were, what, were there any team positives that you take out of this game to do steps forward? Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, we, we do follow our numbers, so we're very clear about what those numbers are. So we didn't meet our own expectation. Um, and that's the craziest thing, you know, you, you lose or you win by so much, but our expectation of ourselves um, and the pressure we put on ourselves to be able to deliver to, to our values. You know, so for us as a team, that's really what it's about, is our values out there and, and us backing that. So, um, as I say, it's crazy considering, I don't know, we won by like 60 or something like that. So, um, but that's what is required to win. You know, we, we've been there, done that, we know what it's about. So, you know, we've, we've got to be able to walk the talk. Wales tomorrow, have you had any friendly banter with Ranga? Oh, yeah, we, yes, yeah, very much so. We're, it's like family with Curly there, so um, it's going to be all on tomorrow. Yeah, and Jane, uh, congratulations on your performance. Obviously great to get the, the time on court, but what are your next steps forward as you move forward in this competition, do you think? Uh, personally, I think it's just little, little tweaks to my game, so the timing of my hunts outside of the circle. Um, you know, a bit of in-circle stuff with whoever I'm working with, just making sure that's real solid and making sure I'm delivering ball through court. What, what are you saying to your teammates when you're on the court? 
I thought everybody could hear me. No, <laughs> I, I couldn't hear. You. Oh, look, I'm trying to be positive, but I'm also trying to give little bits of feedback, um, action-based things, um, but also just, yeah, getting everybody up and trying to feel connected. Um, Coach, uh, Australia's hit a um, score of over 100, Jamaica's hit a score of over 100. Um, acknowledging that you have had big wins, but is it a concern at this stage that your team hasn't had that same performance level out on, on court and on that basic metric? Oh, look, isn't it fantastic that you can put that out there, a hundred, that's amazing. Uh, oh, personally, I'd like a hundred, but, uh, you know, uh, one of our things, once again, is ourselves against ourselves, or the individual against the individual. We haven't changed anything around our philosophy, and once again, that's why our values are so important to us. That's all we need to focus on. We'll get down to the business end when we get to the business end, and what I understand or what I know is What's happened in the prelim, once you get to the semis and finals, doesn't matter. So, uh, you know, we, we just keep chipping away and making sure that we can be better. Uh, any last questions? Right, thank you very much. Awesome, thank you. Thank you.